Hello everyone. Welcome to Blessings on State Bed and Breakfast. We are excited to have you join us today for our Christmas holiday home tour. Come join us as we celebrate the Christmas season at Blessings on State Bed and Breakfast. With a name like Blessings, it's probably no surprise that we have a number of nativity scenes throughout our home. We love the holiday season and the sparkle and glow that comes from beautifully decorated Christmas trees, but our first goal is to recognize and honor our Savior's birth. The Christmas season is a wonderful time to experience blessings on state. We have a team of friends who come in for Elves Weekend to kick off the holiday season. This year, our elves decorated five Christmas trees. There's another great video that documents progress this year, from our Illinois College football players setting up the trees, to shots of all the work that goes into making the magic happen when the lights come on. Since Elves Weekend, nativities have gone up, along with garlands, Christmas stockings, snow villages, and other Christmas decor. We officially turn on the Christmas lights after the Thanksgiving dinner dishes are done, and I'm still decorating today. It's fun to imagine new vignettes and tweak our displays as I pass by. The front parlor is a formal room, and the decorations are more formal too. You'll see a lovely nativity on our fireplace mantel, surrounded by angels, many with instruments. It makes me think of the Christmas carol, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. This year our tree is trimmed in gold with creamy white peonies and an angel on top. As you can see, we layer ornaments from the inside out to provide even better reflection of the tree lights. This room is a common area and our guests are welcome to sit and relax in the tree light while listening to the Baby Grand player piano. Guest breakfasts are served in our formal dining room and as you can see, this room has a vintage Victorian ambiance with a glow of white and silver and sparkle. I often say that I wear glitter from now until March. The ornaments on our dining table have wonderful paper sculptures inside, similar to the German style of paper cutting, Scherenschnitte. I sure enjoy the fine detail. These are some of my other favorites on this tree. I love these vintage style ornaments. I've collected ornaments for many years, even before opening our bed and breakfast. We decorate seasonally, and each new season is exciting and fun, but I readily admit that Christmas decorating brings me great joy. We also change our table settings to reflect the changing seasons and holidays. This particular pattern is holiday tartan, one that Lennox produced for only a short time. We're accenting it with beautiful Ruby Fostoria fruit glasses that came from my grandma Ed's. We recently obtained a new to us dining room set and I had great fun decorating the Grand China Closet. I deliberately used crystals and snowflakes that will take this decor past Christmas on into the winter. I can't get away with leaving my trees up until March, but this should get me at least through February. Welcome to our Serenity on State Suite. Rather than crowd the Christmas tree into the bedroom, we've placed it in our sitting room. This year it's blue. It has blue lights, blue ornaments accented by creamy Lennox ornaments, and peacock feathers. The topper is the lid from a gift box Vanessa, our Christmas elf from Chicago, found while she was in town. The Serenity bedroom is another more formal setting. The mantle has a wonderful floral arrangement that changes slightly from year to year depending on how well it was stored and reconstructed. The joy letters were actually lost for a couple of years. Each year I'd send people to search the attic, sometimes with a finder's fee offered. Nope, nobody could find them. Finally they were recovered and now we have joy. I'm really enjoying this beautiful lantern and tray. A few shiny ornaments and some tiny lights and it's a lovely display. The nativity in this suite is Lennox China and one of my favorites. The Tranquility Suite is always fun to decorate. I don't have closets full of linens for every season, but see what a boost these accent pillows provide? It's just another way to tie into the Christmas season. 
The mantel decor includes greenery with burgundy accents, and there are blue and bronze angels next to the fireplace. We have a Fontanini nativity on the Tranquility side table. This year, the Tranquility tree is adorned with pale blue ball-shaped ornaments that were a gift from a good friend, silver ornaments, and large blue jeweled snowflake ornaments. Elf Maureen, a former decorator and floral designer, chose to stick with her theme and use one of the snowflake ornaments on top of the tree. It finishes it off nicely, don't you think? We have a French country theme in the Tranquility Suite sitting room, which also serves as the extra bedroom when you have a third guest. I have to confess that when our assistant Kelly told me that the small topiary pictures I'd ordered were the size of shutters, I thought she'd lost her mind. It turns out that my mind is what's on the endangered list. There's nothing like putting the largest Christmas decorations in the smallest room in the house. I just keep telling myself that at least they're in keeping with the theme. The buffet area is another common area, so it's decorated too. And there's another nativity on the corner magazine table. I enjoy decorating outdoors too. Glenn works hard to catch my vision and make things happen. We have Christmas trees both on the front porch and in the gazebo with twinkling white lights throughout. While I'm buying my Christmas tree, I ask for cuttings from trees that have gone out. These make terrific urn fillers. This year, the large urns also have corkscrew willow and some pine picks with ornaments that add a little color. This year, we added a full-size sleigh to our Christmas decor. It's placed next to the front porch tree and will be a great setting as we take pictures of our guests throughout the holiday season. Stop in and enjoy a cup of cocoa and have your picture taken in the sleigh. As some of you know, our daughter, assistant innkeeper Valerie, attends Illinois School for the Deaf. I was given the opportunity to purchase a wooden sleigh made by one of their building trades classes. We've tucked the sleigh in between the front doors with a burlap wrapped tree and red lanterns. As innkeepers, we need to keep part of our home for ourselves, and guests often don't have the opportunity to really see where we live. As you can see, we have some snowmen displayed on the TV cabinet. The tree in the corner is Val's tree. With lime green and bright red, you can see it's a whimsical tree, much different from the other Christmas trees in our common areas and guest suites. It even has a bright green frosty hat as a tree topper. Valerie has grown up in our bed and breakfast. I well remember finding her tucked under her tree, holding her book up, using the Christmas tree to light the way as she read her favorite books when she was very young. This room is where the magic happens. I had a lot of fun decorating the kitchen this year. This is not typically our guest space, so I haven't paid a lot of attention to decorating it in the past. But this year, I pulled out the Christmas tree china, and I'm displaying it on my big cabinet, along with pine trees and red and white accents. This particular china pattern is called Christmas Story, and it was made by Mikasa. For the centerpiece on the kitchen island, I just stacked a couple of cake plates and this terrific baker nutcracker, along with cookies and other small ornaments. They're making all kinds of nutcrackers these days. Thank you so much for joining us on our Blessings on Sate Bed and Breakfast Christmas Holiday Home Tour. We hope that you will be inspired to really experience this holiday season. We welcome you to come stay with us in any season, but Blessings on Sate Bed and Breakfast is really delightful during the Christmas holidays. From carols playing on the baby grand player piano, to Christmas trees and nativities, snowmen and Christmas stockings, we really shine during the holiday season. Christmas time brings us great joy as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Friends and family gather here for Christmas celebrations. It's a most wonderful time of the year. We hope that you will have a Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year. Come see us!